What's up, weirdos? Kissing, romance, divorce, pain, insults, failure. That's what we're looking at today on The Button. On this channel, I like to do four videos about things that make my brain rotted, and then go to The Button and rot it even more. But it's kind of fun, because it's so dadgum silly. Sorry, I was trying to do like a southern voice in it. I came out old prospector. Yeah, let's go watch this dadgum video, dog. on it, you dadgum hand dog. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. The, the button lights up, they hit it, and then it rejects into the face. And that's what makes it so great, because they've got to look each other in the eyes and then reject them, and it's so juicy every time. I'm fatigued. Yeah. I am Chris. Chris, nice to How meet you? you. I'm good. I love the watermelon. Oh, thank you so much. So, Chris, do you eat oatmeal? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. What was that all about? <laughs> so, Chris, do you eat oatmeal? Uh, yeah. You do. Because sometimes in this show, the button will like have a weird conversation starter, like so and so likes to piss on his lawn. So and so farts when he sleeps with somebody. But she chose to say that, so there has to be like a really good reason for this, right? <laughs> How often? I don't know. Maybe three times a week. That's an uh, icebreaker. My guy friends told me guys that eat oatmeal eat kitty cat. <laughs> oh my god! That's what she was cooking? <laughs> so, Chris, do you eat oatmeal? Uh, yeah. How much? How much, pretty boy? How much oatmeal you eat, pretty boy? I have eaten it. Let me just make up something, because clearly it's important to her. Uh, three times a week. He does not eat it three times a week. Nobody eats oatmeal three times a week, except for oatmeal fiends. And when I look at him, that's a man who loves a fruit and yogurt parfait. What's up, Chris? I'm a parfait boy myself. I just like the name of it. I like to order a parfait. <laughs> hey, yeah, I like a, I like a fruit and yogurt parfait, Mrs. McDonald. <laughs> She was basically just asking him if he eats pussy, but in a cute way, I guess. Hey, do you eat oatmeal? I'm confused. Well, if you like it, it means you like eating my pussy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Because you don't want to say, well, you could have just asked that because that would have also been a crazy thing to just come out of the box and say. But I did pause it before he said anything. So let's see if Chris can eat the proverbial pussy of this question. You mean guys that eat oatmeal eat pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true for me. So. It's true for you. Yes. Okay. Damn. I really haven't seen that much of like a charisma black hole in my life. He had literally the ball set on the tee right there. He could have swung a home run so easy. And there was like plenty of time to think. Like he didn't just immediately jump in, which by the way, should have just jumped in and been like, nah. but there was time for him to like come up with something great to say. And then he just goes, it's true for me, I, I, I guess in that case. So meek, so timid, fear the man has never seen a vagina in his life. <laughs> I know I haven't, baby. I've never seen a dead gum vagina, you dead gum hound dog. I'm trying to step into a pussy. <laughs> also, quick sidebar. She said that her guy friends told her that guys who eat oatmeal eat pussy. The thing is, the situation was definitely those guys were just eating oatmeal, and then they said that. <laughs> like, there's no no. I, that was I, I set it up like I was gonna have like a big point, but that's that's it. <laughs> it's just me sitting here like this, and then someone being like, "Hey, why do you got your blue painted nails? If you paint your nails blue, it means you go crazy. You love to eat pussy." <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, just hit the button on Chris, you sad sack of watermelon gamer boy. I love him. He's fine. He's so handsome. Whatever. I mean, that's what I was been told. So, you know, I'm trying to go <laughs> off of that, you know, that sexual chemistry. Oh, I, I feel you on that one. <laughs> what do you eat? <laughs> What's going on in here? Who's making it weird? Because on the one hand, I definitely want to say she's making it weird because she is making it weird, but he is giving so little energy in this, so like deadpan, like she's in trouble. It seems like he's a principal and she's in trouble, but he's also like going along with what she's saying, but also like dismissively and like, ugh. So what do you eat? Does he want her to eat his ASS? I love chicken tenders. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets or chicken tenders? Because tenders are like longer chicken nuggets. There are a lot <laughs> of people who like chicken tenders. Thank God. He was just already like spiraling so hard like I've never seen in my entire life. That is a man who stepped up to the plate and then just absolutely tore his ACL without even moving. In the World Series, game and legacy on his shoulders. And he goes like this, taps the plate and goes, oh! <laughs> Chicken nuggets or chicken tender? It has never been easier for a man on this show to, to like just engage in like flirtation. That was the best possible scenario for him to flirt with this woman who clearly is interested in him. And he took all of the energy that she was giving at the beginning and just turned it into ash. So what do you eat? I like chicken tenders and like chicken nuggets. Uh, chicken tenders and chicken nuggets are two different things. Chicken tenders are longer. Nuggets are smaller. Chicken tenders are longer. Oh, you hit the button now. Yeah, no shit she hit the button. Dude, that was the biggest collapse I've ever seen in my entire life. That's like the Houston Texans up 24 against the Kansas City Chiefs. Nobody gives a fuck. Chicken tenders. All right, so why'd you push it on me? You're just not my type. I'm sorry. That's it was right. really nice to Thank meet you. you. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. 
Thank God she hit the button. Well, why'd you hit it on me? Oh, uh, you're not my type. Subtext, you are the boringest. Boring of, I'm not boring. I'm Fatia. Nice to meet you. Do you two eat oatmeal? Oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. I mean, sometimes. Do you? Do you button? I eat a lot of oatmeal. I am so confused with the direction this video is going. What the hell is going on? This is sabotage, because now she has to go, oh, because of, well, I said earlier that oatmeal means you eat pussy. So did the button just say that it eats a bunch of pussy? The button on the box eats a lot of box? And then she'll go, well, I, th I don't know, I think it's just got, I thought this was divorce singles on the button. I eat a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> I mean, don't be a reason to eat a whole lot of oatmeal when there's other things. That you can eat. eat? Yeah. Would you tell him why you want to know if he eats oatmeal? Uh, my guy friends told me that guys that like to eat oatmeal like to go down on girls. There's, okay, <clears throat> if, if you really want to know if a guy is going to go down on you. Do you drink, by the way? I do. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be doing jello shots. Most people will do jello shots. This guy? I am so grateful for this guy. This is what Chris should have been doing. He sees the prompt, he sees the opportunity, and he's diving into it like a man who eats oatmeal dives into, I feel like he's going to crush this. The energy he just like immediately lit up and he's like, oh, you want to know how to tell if a guy's going to eat your pussy? Okay, let me tell you how because I got a five-step process. But let's see what he's going to say because he has the perfect energy for this, the way he just lit up. Yeah. So I'll be doing jello shots. Most people will do jello shots. They'll just take it and they'll squeeze it and no. I, nah, you got to lick take it. Take my tongue, lick it through, and when it comes out, it should be completely clean. Ooh. You all right, Button? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little, a little sparky. So how many long-term relationships have you been in? <laughs> what a transition. <laughs> he was just so in detail trying to convince her that he eats it like a pro, which by the way, that's exactly what he should have done in that situation, king. But then to go from, yeah, I licked the hell out of a jello shot. So when was the last time you were in a long-term relationship? <laughs> Oh, I like the way you eat those jello shots. Uh, it ended two years ago. We've been together for 20 years and we have three kids. <laughs> How many long-term relationships have you been in total in your life? Probably like four or five. I've been in two long-term relationships. Which one was your marriage? Longest term relationship. How long was that? That was uh, 15 years. 15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why why she do them like that? It's called divorced singles, isn't it? The video where they're just literally both divorced and that's not the shocking thing. This isn't like an episode where they find out, oh, you're divorced. <gasps> You're divorced too. She's also <laughs> Why is that a red flag on a show about divorce? How is she not gonna hit the button on anybody? Oh yeah, this guy knows how to go down on a woman, but he's divorced on the divorce dating show, so. Okay. <laughs> and for what? I think you're just a little too old. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we had a really good conversation though. I feel like we did too. Good luck. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I had a guess, I would've thought that he was younger than her, no shade. She doesn't even know how old he is. He looks young. Am I wrong and am I tripping? He looks like a 31 year old guy that I would see at a Magic the Gathering trading card shop. And she looks in her early 30s, which is young and beautiful. Okay, by the way, 33, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I am ready for her to get demolished. And I'm telling you, this is when I start to get excited about the button. Cause I start to like really resent the people who hit the button on people that I love. That man I love. So when someone rejects her to her face, it's gonna feel so sweet. It'll be like honey dripping down on my Elvis Presley guitar. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio's manager talking to him through the door of his RV that he's about to send in like 18 year old women into. And also Henry Cavill, but people don't want to talk about it because he likes to play video games, so he's nerdy and he's wholesome. But he's the same as Leonardo DiCaprio, who literally dated a 19 year old while he was 33 years old. And when asked about the relationship was quoted as saying, people say age is just a number. But he plays Warhammer. 40k. <laughs> I'm Fatia. Oh, I'm Moose. Moose? Yeah. Hey. What do you like to do for fun? Okay, we're gonna send in somebody younger. <laughs> they get a kid who's from high school. <laughs> this guy's dressed like he's a skater in high school that ditches class. Backwards cap on a dating show about divorced people. I love it. Also, is that a... Oh, no, 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 no. I like that. The Caucasians logo because it's making fun of the... You can't even say their name because it's a slur. So that's crazy that a football team was named that for so long and they have a terrible legacy. We fucking hate them. Anyways, love the show. Love the guy. Hope he rejects her and we win. Can you win the button? What do you like to do for fun? I'm a huge nerd. Oh, what okay. kind of nerd though? I love League of Legends. League of Legends. I okay. go to work. I come home. I make my kids some food and I league it up. Okay. I'm okay. very much a homebody. I'm not somebody that you would take hiking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Fatia. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I've made like three videos on the button before, and every single time somebody's creeping their hand towards it, I'm always like, somebody should just fucking go hit it. Oh my god, I'm so glad he did it. I'm so glad he did that. Do not play with my boy. Do not play with my backwards cap skater boy. She tried to say see you later, boy, to skater boy. She he wasn't good enough for her, but now he's a superstar <laughs> slamming on the button. You know, Ever Levine, skater boy, come on. Is this what that's based off of? Is this that video? Oh my god, this is the skater boy music video. <laughs> You probably rejected me because I was going to reject you. Yeah. Why were you going to reject Moose? I was just hoping that like when we connected on like the nerd vibe mm. that you knew what League of Legends was. Oh, I, I do. Oh, okay. I was yeah. hoping that like you could say yeah, something I, like, oh, I, I, we'll I just, play together or something. I, I'm not a big computer games guy. Oh, More console. console. Okay. Yeah. Console and computer. Terrible match. Get out of here, Fatiha. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. What'd she expect? She said she plays League of Legends. Why did you reject me? You were just gonna reject me because I was gonna reject you. Yeah, well, why were you gonna reject me? Because you don't know what my nerd stuff is. No, I do know what your nerd stuff is. I just don't play on computer. I'm a console gamer. You're a fucking console gamer? Are you out of your mind? Do you know how small you are to me right now? You're pathetic. Henry Cavill in the background going, Yeah, Reddit, PC Master Race, Keanu Reeves, Reddit. <laughs> hey, PA, can you get me a 17-year-old girl to my trailer? You know, we're in France after all. I'm Superman, Reddit, Reddit. Sorry. I'm just annoyed about the whole Henry Cavill thing because he gets treated like the Brendan Fraser, Keanu Reeves, Henry Cavill, and it's like those two are not him. But Superman, Zack Snyder. That's not the what we're talking about right now, bro. God, this video has so many different rabbit trails. But because I am a master, I will wrap the A story, the B story, and the C story all into one satisfying conclusion. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe me? Just wait, hound dog. I thought you two were a good match. Me too. If only you liked League of Legends. I, I haven't played it before. <gasps> oh goodness. Oh, well, what did I sign up for? Hi, my name is Moose. Oh, I'm free. Can he hit the button on her in three seconds or less starting now? Complete. What is she to do? Why? That is the meanest thing I have ever seen anybody say online. Me, two days onto the internet. <laughs> That's the meanest thing she literally said. <laughs> Can we do a little slow motion replay of that though? So she comes in there and looks at him for a second and then has that reaction. Oh, what did I sign myself up for? He's literally right there. Why are you insulting him? How is that not supposed to be interpreted as she saw him and is incredibly disappointed? In what other way can that be interpreted other than she was seeing him and thinking this guy is ugly? What did I get myself into? And so she said it and then he says his name and she goes, Moose, by the way, not that even wild of a name. I don't know why you have to go through that whole display of what? While also having just insulted him. Oh, I'm Bree. <laughs> yes, it's a childhood nickname after I had my ghost spurt. And a moose was the closest that was? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or... The way I got it is uh, when I walked in front of the TV, my dad was like, oh, it's like seeing a moose cross the freeway because I covered the entire TV. And my oh, mom was like, I like that. Cute. Moose, can you just hit the button on her, please? Can you please just hit the button on her? What does her tattoo say, by the way? Minol woman. Phenomenal woman? Is it phenomenal woman? Because based on what I've seen so far, it's more like woman who is not nice to my friend Moose. <laughs> and by the way, also, your name's Brie. You're named after cheese. Cheese isn't cooler than a moose. I love cheese. I love to eat cheese. But moose are also big and tall and cool. You ever see that video of a moose getting hit by a car? Yo, bunny bro. <laughs> Uh, on a Friday night, what do you do? I like to be at the range. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant like... Gun range. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, mm. uh, how far can you drive a ball? It depends on how much liquor I've had. <laughs> so you get drunk and you hit ball. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not going out there unless there is liquor. Moose was a butt tender for four years. I think the button knows that I took a smoke break. <laughs> Earlier today. <laughs> I love her. What the what what the fuck? What she is so wonderful. What the hell? What, what is going on? Like literally nothing changed, and now she's being like so nice and funny and like I guess this is what happens when you get the full context based on this new information. Now I'm seeing her previous actions in a different light. She was just high. <laughs> I'm so glad because here's the thing: I don't want a woman with a tattoo that says "phenomenal woman" to have a lie on her. That means she would go to hell. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. You go to hell if you have any tattoo. <laughs> hey, Bree, are you back with us fully? I mean, I smoke a lot of weed, so there's always a little bit of haze. <laughs> I love weed. I'm actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Mm. Uh, so anything to calm my mind when I'm uh, going through my manic episodes, it helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, they were vibing so well. They were like really having good chemistry and then he was just like for no reason saying that he has bipolar disorder. I'm about a bipolar disorder of fries. No.
So like really the whole game is about making sure that you're not caught in a trap where you say something that the other person, you know, doesn't like or is uncomfortable with or can be perceived as a negative. I mean, that other guy said that he got divorced from somebody that he'd been with for 15 years and that was enough on the divorced episode. You could see it, the moment he said it, he was like, oh fuck, why would I say that? They were vibing so well, he could have just said, I love smoking weed. But then he also said, because of my bipolar disorder, which in my opinion, should not cause somebody to hit the button. Let me just say that. Because it is so possible to have a happy and healthy relationship and to live a fruitful life with bipolar disorder. It's not something that's like, even in the realms of like, oh, that's an impossible thing to, like you can be in a relationship with somebody with that and like it be completely fine, Com like a complete non-issue and also not your problem. It should not be a deal breaker. It really should not be. But if I'm coaching him in the game of the button, I would say to not in the first three minutes of meeting somebody mention a mental illness. But if I was a coach for him in life, I would say, say whatever the fuck you want. And if somebody can't get on board with you from the jump, then they shouldn't be on board with you at all. So yeah, he got rejected from the button, but maybe he took a step up in life. He made a choice of radical self-love and acceptance. I'm also not joking, by the way. I'm just saying that like, yeah, it sucks because now she's going to be on the show more. But she's such an enigma and I love her. God, get back on track. Let's see what Bree's going to get up to. Why? I have ADHD, uh, like fairly bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know how your mania and my mania Okay. Would mesh. Because I can be very, like, okay. manic sometimes. Yeah, I get that. And look at that. She is multi-layered, multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, and empathetic. There is a world where we poo-poo on her in the comments, but that is actually, like, she made a really good point. For herself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's an actual, like, I understand now why she would do it. And Moose did, too! She might be my favorite person ever on the button. The way that she takes me down here and then shoots me right back up here and then somehow goes right back down and then right back- <laughs> It's the triumphs and defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school dating, divorced, single, the button, football. Let's get on Riverdale is what Henry Cavill would say when he thought all the actors were in high school. Stop. Hi, my name is Aro. Bree. Nice to meet you. How old are you? That was quick. Dang, I'm 35. We ain't got all day. <laughs> How do you? 28. Do you have any children? I do have children. I have uh, twins and I have two from a prior marriage. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about you, you have any kids? I do. Do you ever have any more children? I do want some more, because uh, right now their mom actually lives in Minnesota. Oh, wow. So it's rare that I get to see them, and that's yeah. the main thing. <gasps> what? Oh, I love them so much. God, they're perfect for each other. God, that was so cutthroat. This was like a scene out of a Tarantino movie with the under undercurrent of bubbling tension, knowing that that button's gonna light up. Like the family under the floorboards in Inglorious Bastards with Christoph Waltz playing Felix Cipher's right-hand man. That was incredible. They were so, by the way, he is a handsome devil. But in the conversation where they're being open and talking about children and stuff, you could tell that there were things that were like not matching up with each other. And so then to see it play out, that, like they didn't have the thing that Fatia did where she was like, uh, they went bam, bam, they went bam. Who got it first though? And that's the main thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> R01. Why did you press it? Um, I just didn't feel like you were vibing. <laughs> yeah. I said that and you just weren't you just weren't vibing with it. Uh, I just didn't want more kids. Damn, that was great. They had great chemistry though, but I like his choice. That's a man who knows how to play the game, and that is a woman who knows how to play the game. He just happened to be a little bit faster. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb right now. This one right here, and I'm gonna say it. I think this is my favorite episode of The Button. And I really appreciate that you guys watch my videos. It has been out of nowhere. I don't know, by the way, if you've noticed my videos getting recommended to you a bunch more. The views on like everything have shot up so much in like one month. It's been insane, like just such a whirlwind, and I'm so grateful that all of you weirdos are checking out the videos. <laughs> Anyways, geez, stop being such a sentimental, whatever. Keep watching. Sorry. I feel bad now. What? I'm not a person that does well with rejection, and I just had to reject somebody, so I kind of feel bad. How's it going? Hello. How you doing? I'm Megan. All right, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what's your favorite snack? Favorite snack? By the way, can just sense her nervous energy like radiating so hard. Can somebody please connect her with Brie and Moose so that they can just go outside and smoke because I feel nervous watching her. My favorite snack is the f uh, That is so me if I was on one of these shows. I would get so nervous. I hope she wins everything because I see myself in her and if she doesn't win, it's like I lost. But yeah, let's listen. What are her four favorite snacks that start with the letter P? Four P's, Peachios. Oh. Popcorn, Pepsi, and pickles. Gotta eat them all together. Okay, all together? <laughs> you eat Peachios, popcorn, pickles, and Pepsi all at the same time? Gonna be honest, I love it. I am so on board with her. She is me, and again, if she loses, my life is over. I'm like Kendall Roy, and she's my way star. I feel like if she doesn't win, I might just die. No spoilers in the comments for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. No spoilers. What's your favorite snack then? Since that was really mm. judgmental on my <laughs> Hot Cheetos. 
Hot Cheetos. Love hot Cheetos. Yeah. Hit the red fingertips. No, I use. Uh, <laughs> you, you got the little. I use chopsticks. Thing. Okay, look at you being clean. <laughs> it's not that I don't like getting my hands dirty. It's just I just like using chopsticks. Okay, look at you being clean. Okay, okay. Okay, look at you being clean. I'm not making fun of her. I'm pointing out that I am her. She is so me, and I love her. Megan, how do you feel about dating men with kids? I'm not gonna have any kids. So, mm. are you, do you have kids? I do have kids. Okay. I have twins. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, but he's so handsome. She doesn't want kids, but he's so handsome. Is my, my pitch for this is why he's so handsome. I've seen who's on the button in the past. I'm just saying, this is the most handsome man ever on the button. And the fact that he didn't win, I guess that just goes to show looks aren't everything. Because apparently even the most handsome man of all time can lose. But he's so sweet and so nice. Makes me feel like that picture of Kendall Roy. Why don't you want kids? Because I'm already 40 years old. I probably can't even have them at this point. So that's the biggest reason. Understandable. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Hi there, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Listen, listen, I know I've been saying a lot of stuff about Henry Cavill, and if anybody's getting mad about it, I'm pretty sure that that's that guy. I have seen 500 of this dude at a trading card shop. If there is a place where nerds can conglomerate, he is their king. And by the way, I am bowing down to this man. If he speaks about Star Wars, I listen. So it's fully with respect, but I am saying this guy does moderate for three different discords and five different reddits. Subreddits. I don't know. I don't know. I don't go on subreddit. That's for green. The, the. That's for fucking nerds. If the woman who represents me gets rejected by a Discord mod, I'm going to lose my mind. And again, fully with respect, but if this man who modeled his entire look off of one post on male fashion advice where 15 other dudes who look like him commented their, you know, fashion advice, if you can call it advice, if he rejects her who is me, I'm going to feel hurt and I'm going to be distraught and I'm going to cry. Maybe it's just because I have an inferiority complex because of all the Reddit up dudes and gold he gets kind stranger. Uh, what do you do for work? I am a coordinator for window and door installation. So basically I'm a grown man babysitter. <laughs> I just boss grown men around to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. What about you? Um, I'm a supervisor at a sawmill. By the way, I feel so sorry for everything that I just said about him being like a Reddit mod. By the way, if that's true, I go on Reddit, like it's fun. And he is so sweet. I genuinely feel so bad and like heartbroken, but you know what? He does look like, you know, the classic like Reddit guy, but thing is he's so sweet. Oh my God. I want he and her to fall in love and be together forever. And I hope that she works at her supervisor job and he builds a house out of their, his saw. He works at a sawmill. He definitely posts on r slash woodworking and he has incredible art that I would look at and admire. And I would look up to him as a man and as a role model and is it a wonderful person and I just wouldn't dress like he dresses but everything else is great. Are you uh, good with your hands, gentlemen? <laughs> I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> Whoa, warning, this guy fingers. I work at a sawmill and I finger pussy. What kind of things are you into? I'll be honest, I'm fairly lame. I spend a lot of time with my dog. What kind of dog do you have? He's just a scruffy terrier mutt. Okay. I yeah. think he's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's I'm okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did you button me? Just not my type. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I rejected the Reddit mod. I did this. The things I said before are what she did, but she didn't see the light that I saw in the second half. Oh my God, she's me, but with a mistake. <laughs> That's not at all what I was, <laughs> not what I was trying to say. This is literally the Homelander meme. I'm the upgrade. <laughs> Damn, I wish that she had seen what I saw in that second half, because they would have been perfect together. Nobody has had more chemistry on this show than the two of them. That really sucks. I could have posted her holding a woodworking sculpture and said, my wife made this, and then got a bunch of upvotes, because if you say it's about yourself, you don't get a lot, because it seems like bragging. So if you just, I don't go on Reddit, and if you go on Reddit, you're lame, because I don't go on there. It's for nerds, and I'm not a nerd. It's your time. I don't know, just not the hat. <laughs> Dang it, there it is, the, right there, literally what I said. Oh my God, this is what's so frustrating. Oh my God, guys, stop wearing those hats. Seriously, okay, sidebar, please stop wearing those hats, guys. You saw what just happened. You saw how good they could have been together. You know, with that hat, threw everything in the trash. Everything was gone. Everything when she saw that hat. It's a hole that you cannot dig yourself out of. And I know that you think that a plaid short sleeve, that hat, and things that, you know, color-wise go together look good because male fashion advice said it one time with 15 other guys who dress like this and they think it looks good because that's what other guys think looks good. That's not what looks good. Just so triggering because I had a moment when I was 10 years old where I wore a fedora. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And at that time, I would have loved Henry Cavill, but I've changed, I've grown, I'm a different man. I learned that what the fedora feels like is not what it represents to everyone else. Oh, actually, technically, that's a trilby. Shut the fuck up, don't even start with me. And this little Newsies bike messenger hat, I had one of those, because my mom said that it looked cute. 
Never trust your mom when it comes to hats. She let me walk out of a house with a plaid brown fedora and then recommended a Newsies cap. If you want male fashion advice in real life, please, please just look at Noah Beck's Instagram and then go to a vintage clothing store and get clothes after looking at that. It just indoctrinate yourself with Noah Beck's clothing. Look at Cody Co. Look at Cody Co. God, look at Cody Co. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That genuinely was so frustrating and so hard. There's so many things about this that are bringing out things in me. I just got to keep watching and, you know, drown out my inner monologue. God. What attracts you? Honestly, I don't know. It's like porn. You like can't describe it. You just know it when you see it. <laughs> Oh my god, she reminds me of like weird energy that Jennifer Coolidge has. She has Jennifer Coolidge energy. BJCE, big Jennifer Coolidge energy. And when I was saying that she was so nervous at the beginning, she has that nervous energy still, but she's also the master of her own domain. She started to sit up more straight and look around, although she has that trembling waver in her voice, but she takes charge. Hey, hey, what am I attracted to? It's like porn. You'll know it when you see it. <laughs> I love her and I'm back on track with supporting her. Do you watch porn? I do. What do you like? Wait, hey, how you doing? What oh, did I just walk hey, in on? Hold on, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Michael. <laughs> nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. So, do you watch porn? Is that what she asked? Is yeah. That what asked? Watch, watch porn. I mean, usually, honestly, it's a little girl on girl sometimes. Okay. This is so awesome. She's being put in the worst situation for somebody who seems to like have nerves, but she's so rolling with the punches. She just has big nervous energy. B N J C E, big nervous Jennifer Coolidge energy. But she's owning it and she's destroying it. Um, I mean, it's like porn. Yeah, I watch porn. Yeah, I watch porn. This guy hearing all of this. So you like it? Yeah, I like a little. A little bit of girl on girl. <laughs> This is awesome. I love it. Can't really watch Girl on Girl. You don't like it? Not, not for me. You gotta but, feel I mean, like you're in it. Ex exactly. I have to watch. If I'm gonna watch porn, I have to watch something that yeah, I can that feel makes, like I'm a part of. That makes sense. Yeah, That's yeah. why I like Girl on Girl because guys in the porn, they're usually like, you're doing too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what what would you say was like the worst thing that happened to you on a date? On a date? We're, I don't think that I've ever had like, well, except for one guy that was like, I'm an entrepreneur. Da, 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 I did that. He was unemployed. That's <laughs> So basically, he was unemployed. He was poor and a liar. They, yeah. I like that, and I hope that they stay together, and I hope that nobody hits the button. I feel like they actually have pretty good chemistry. They had such an awkward, like, start, but neither of them was awkward about it. Chris would have crumbled so fast. Chris isn't up for this. Chris doesn't have what it takes. Chris doesn't have the chutzpah. Redemond would have destroyed that, because he fingers. So how long have you been single? Well, I've been divorced for, like, six years. Oh. We were together for seven years, and then we got... Married, we're married for two, but he cheated on me with his two best friends' wives. So I found out about one. Whoa. Yeah. I got one up for you. Okay. My ex-wife slept with my biological father. What? <laughs> Because what she just said already, crazy. Because her ex-husband cheated on her with his two best friends' spouses? That's crazy. But then for him to hear that and then immediately be like, don't worry about it, mine's worse. And deliver? My ex-wife slept with my biological father? His ex-wife slept with his biological father. So let's picture this. His dad slept with his ex-wife. <laughs> oh my God, how do you even come back from that? What's Thanksgiving like? He knows his stepmom. Uh, so what he needs to do is sleep with his ex-wife's biological mother because then if he marries her mom their daughter is his ex-wife who is married to his dad whose son is him so he is his dad's stepdad and he's also his, his dad's son so he's his own grandpa does that make sense so he just got to marry his ex-wife's dad and then he's his own grandpa and that's great no. and two of my homeboys all in within like six months <laughs> Talk about trauma. Yeah. That's insanity, by the way. How do you recover from that? That's crazy trauma. Hopefully they can find love on the button with each other and they can get be married forever. You can't, you learn that you can't really put everybody in that same category. Yeah, you, can't you gotta give them a chance. And... Yeah, you can't make the next person pay for what the last person did. Yeah. Are you two attracted to one another? Yeah, I say yeah. yeah. I just like the, the the good back and forth. Being able to have a conversation is a very yeah. important thing to me. Yeah. So being not able to have a conversation. Too awkward. No, it's not awkward at all. Yeah. It's not awkward at all. And the transparency. You like, I just feel like you're genuinely being you. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Great conversation, great chemistry. She had it with Reddit mod, but he had that stupid hat. You might say, oh, well, why is the other one bad and this one isn't? If you're asking that question, don't ask any more questions. Just please listen to me and trust me and don't ever think, please. I'm so sorry. I'm sure that you look handsome. Objectively, you look handsome in that Newsies cap. I know you look handsome in it. And I know that your mom is telling you the truth, but trust me, society sees it differently. And it's about that, you know? If you don't care about that and you just want to dress how you feel comfortable, please do that. But this happens. But also maybe that's just destiny because she found love on the butt. They're not gonna hit the butt on each other, are they? Did you trust each other enough to go on a second date? Yeah. 
I would. Absolutely. Thank God. That makes me so happy. Yay, this was a long ass the button. Thing. This one might be my favorite because there were some genuine heartbreaks. Like we went on an absolute roller coaster from beginning to end of this. And you know, now that it's finally ended, but as with all episodes of the button and Henry Cavill's interest in a woman once she hits 20, it's come to an end. He's not interested in 20 year old women and the episode has come to an end. Please subscribe. I love you very much, weirdos. <laughs> here's the thing, here's the thing about the Henry Cavill thing. Okay, because I saw a lot of stuff about it. And now a lot of stuff, when you look it up, it's just about him in that relationship with a 19 year old when he was 33. And that's sketchy enough on its own. But there are also so many other things of like people on production sets talking about being nervous with him and like young women in the area. And the thing is, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not on those sets, but it's weird that it doesn't, you know, 